Tonight, investigators were seen removing mattresses from the crime scene, loading two of them onto the back of pickup trucks. This, as newly released documents show, police were hot on the trail of the suspect, thanks to a digital web investigator, say, entangled Brian Koberger. Everybody's driving around with a GPS tracker. Mark Roche is a former DOJ cybersecurity expert and says every day people leave a trail of digital debris. People don't realize that when they're using a, any kind of a device that they're leaving a track of what they're doing. And even if they're just driving in a car, there are automated license plate readers that are capturing their license plate. Investigators say they were able to ID Koberger as the owner of a white Hyundai Elantra that was seen speeding from the crime scene, which then led to his cell phone number. In the affidavit, police say they tracked the criminal justice PhD student through his cell phone, and it pinged off towers near the crime scene at least 12 times before the attack. Police also say they think the suspect could have turned his phone off the morning of the murders, noting that Koberger's device didn't ping cell towers between 2.47 a.m. and 4.48 a.m., saying that is consistent with Koberger attempting to conceal his location during the quadruple homicide. It's much more difficult to get away with these kinds of crimes in 2023 than it was 20, 30 years ago. The house where the victims were killed is still considered an active crime scene and will be closed off until at least February 1st. As for Koberger, he'll be back here in court next Thursday. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Moscow, Idaho.